of this uh, senseless shutdown is inflicting great pain in every part of our country. Every day, the impact spread, impact spread reaching the lives of hardworking Americans in every corner of the country. These are the people who deliver services to the American people. We should respect what they do for our country. Many of them are veterans who have translated their military patriotism into civilian patriotism working for the government. And they are affected by this. I'm not denying the platform at all. We're saying, let's get a date when government is open. Let's pay the employees. Maybe he thinks it's okay not to pay people who do work. I don't. And uh, m my caucus doesn't either. As I've said to some of you, this is a na uh, defined by the Secretary of Homeland Security as a national special security event. It means it's elevated to a place where the resources of the government are used to protect that event. It is the President of the United States and the Vice President, the Congress of the United States, House and Senate, the Cabinet, acting as it is, but the Cabinet, the Supreme Court of the United States, the Diplomatic Corps, and all that that implies in terms of security. The continuation of government is the reason for all of the security as well as the uh, power that is in the room. I have no doubt that our men and women uh, in the federal workforce have the capability to protect the inference that they want to say is, oh, you don't think they can? Yes, they can. They're professionals. They train for this. They should be paid for this. And that's why I said to the president, let's, let's if, if, you, if you don't open up government, uh, if that doesn't happen, let's discuss a mutually agreeable date. 90% of the drugs coming over the border come through the ports of entry. And so we have said again and again, let's build the infrastructure of the ports of entry or maybe increase them. Let's facilitate uh, trade and travel and protecting our security with more lateral roads there. Let's increase the personnel. There are nearly 3,000, 3,000, imagine, 3,000 vacancies in customs. Let's increase the personnel, infrastructure personnel, technology, technology, technology.